There's an endless road to rediscover Oh, if the sky comes falling down There's nothing in this world I would do Hey, what if I'm far from home? Oh, brother, I will hear you call There's nothing in this world I would do Bobby Champagne joins us now and Coach Champagne, a tough road loss, 88 to 80 to West Georgia. A, a, another tight ball game late, and the Wolves just kind of snuck away with the win on us. They did. They did. Um, uh, Myrie gets a drive, gets fouled on the drive, and, and uh, instead of the basket counting, it's a one and one, and we miss the front of a one and one. Um, and and uh, Demario does a heck of a job coming up. We did a great job. We did exactly what we were supposed to do. We trapped the middle ball screen. We get our hands up. We force a turnover. It's loose on the floor. DeMario picks it up, calls timeout. We come down. We get a good shot. We take the lead. They go down, and Branch is playing great, man. He's, he's really turned it up, uh, and he, hits, he hit three big three-pointers, you know. Um, and then we come down, and we force the shot with 40 seconds to go, and that, that kind of took the wind out of our sail. We, we, we didn't uh, really execute late. Uh, uh, offensively, and you give them credit. They did a pretty good job of guarding us and, and making things tough for us. But golly, I, I, I feel I feel sorry for my guys, man, because they're really battling. They really are. They're but they're busting their tail, man, and they just they're coming up just a little bit short. There's something I got to do to help them. And I, I, you know, what we got? Five games left. Five games. I got to figure it out. These next five games, I got to figure it out. The good thing, coach, we still have a game lead over West Georgia. Yeah. In the conference standings, we'll have a big one Saturday on the road against West Alabama. Demario Jackson, two points mm -hmm. in the first half. Second half, 22 yeah. points, finishes with 24 on the night. Not just his play offensively, but he's laying it out on the floor mm -hmm. right over there for loose balls and yep. just doing it all. The senior continuing to set the tone for your team. He, he did. He did. And, you know, we, we get – we get a couple guys stepping up and, and, and uh, making some shots. Charvin McGee showed back up tonight. And, uh, you know, then, then uh, we got Austin Timms who can't, can't really find a basket on the, on the layups, but he made his free throws and he, he rebounded the ball. You know, we just can't seem to get uh, – Janelle was, was good as well. Uh, probably didn't play him enough in the second half. and That's on me. I, I, I don't know. Man, I, I'm reaching for stuff. Just trying to figure it out because we, we're, we're really battling and, and just, you know, we're not catching a break. We, we can't catch a break. You know, I, I, I thought for sure uh, Myrique's basket was an and one. And, and uh, you know, we, we take a, a three, four point lead instead of, uh, you know, front end of one and one goes out and they go down and they score and take the lead. That was their first lead, I think, or they tied it up. It's just disappointing because our guys are really battling. Coach, we'll bounce back Saturday against West Alabama. Thanks for chatting with us. All right, thank you.